Good morning folks, it feels like the middle of the night and that's because it is. destination. Arrive at your destination. Arrive. I've made it here now to Maastricht in Aberdeen. Now I've heard that this place is named after Maastricht in the Netherlands. Now I've got no idea if that's true or not, but what I do know is that we're going to the Dutch version today. And that's why I've driven an hour in the wrong direction this morning to start the video here. The things I do for a YouTube thumbnail, eh? Right, let's get ourselves to Edinburgh Airport. Wow, with this fog, it's hard to tell even where we are. I could have started this video anywhere, couldn't I? Parked in Kerstorfen and from here I'll go and jump on the airport bus, that's certainly a lot cheaper than parking at the airport itself. Now I like to be fairly early when I'm travelling but my flight doesn't leave for another four hours so I think I'll get breakfast here in Kerstorfen rather than pay the outrageous prices at the airport. I'm pretty sure there's a Toby Carvery along here somewhere, that'd be perfect for breakfast. Ah there we go and it is just about to open so that'll do the job perfectly. I mean come on, Yorkshire puddings for breakfast? Yes, please. I tell you what, for £6.49, this is an absolute bargain. The funny thing is, I could go up as many times as I want as well, but the most important thing this morning is my coffee, because I've had about one hour's sleep last night. Typical, eh?
Well, that breakfast has to be the biggest bargain in Edinburgh, but don't worry, I didn't go up a second time. The only thing missing was mushrooms, but when there's a big Yorkshire pudding on your plate, who's to complain? Right, we're on the shaky, rattly, bumpy airport bus and we should be at the airport in about 10 minutes time. And when we get there, we'll talk about our next bargain. My next bargain today is actually the flight itself. Now I could have flown to Maastricht with KLM through Amsterdam and that would have cost me the bargain return fare for my travel dates of £946. But instead I'm going to fly to Brussels Charleroi now. Charleroi always seems to be a cheap airport to fly to and my one way fare today was 35 quid, So there was no real decision to make. From there, it's an extra 15 quid for the bus to Maastricht. I don't think that's too bad, is it? Hey, I think I need some of these for my tired eyes. What do you think? Oh, I feel like I'm losing my voice. I'm just trying to hide away in a quiet corner here. There's not many of them at Edinburgh Airport. I think this is as good as it gets, but I cannot remember the last time I was at an airport where I didn't feel absolutely exhausted. And it's no different this time. Well, we've just had a gate change from gate number one to gate 25, opposite ends of the terminal. Edinburgh Airport never lets you down. And another gate change, this time from 25 to 26, so not as much of a hike as the last time, but there's no stress anyway. Our flight's delayed by about 20 minutes at the moment, and there is no sign of the aircraft.
So welcome to Charleroi, where I'm standing in the shade because it's absolutely roasting. But how were Ryanair today? Well, the cabin was too hot, my seat was uncomfy, my window seat didn't have a window, and I've arrived in a different country from the one that I'm going to. But am I complaining? Absolutely not, because if it wasn't for the affordability of Ryanair, I wouldn't be able to do these trips and I wouldn't be able to make these videos. So once again, guys, thanks for getting me here. So now all I've got to do is find the Flibco bus that's going to take me to the Netherlands. Well, I had a little bit of time before my bus and Scott from Planes, Trains, Everything wouldn't let me pass through Belgium without buying a waffle. So this one's for you, Scott. Mm, delicious. And there's the big bus terminal. Quite an impressive place, actually, isn't it? And the very last place on the list, that's where we're going to, Maastricht. This place looks fairly new, like it's still getting built, but we've got a departure board here. 3.45 to Maastricht, platform five. Now, I don't think that's my boss, but you never know. I don't really want to stand in direct sunlight for the next 20 minutes, but if it gets me at the front of the queue and then gets me a decent seat on the bus, then it's worth it. That's the idea anyway. Just looking around here, it's quite a big operation. You can go to Ghent and Bruges, you can go to Lille and Mons, you can go to Luxembourg, and you can go to Liège as well as where we're going today. I need to ration this water a bit. That's all I've got for the next two hours. And I think this is our bus now. Yes, it is, Maastricht. Or should I say coach, sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I've got a seat right at the front and we've got some air con. That feels good. The seats look okay. And they're comfy, that's the main thing, isn't it? Because we're gonna be on this bus till 6 p.m. I've got a nice view at the front, of course, but on the side, we've got this graphic. So it was a bit of a trade-off, to be honest, but I'm happy with my decision.
thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Welcome to Maastricht and welcome to the Netherlands. We only crossed the border just a few minutes ago and that's us in another country. This is fantastic. And the bus has dropped me off just behind the railway station. The bus journey was okay. I mean, motorway driving in Europe can be a bit monotonous and a bit boring. And I've kind of learned a lesson that you don't really see much out the front. I'd be better off sitting further back so I'd have a view out the side. I think that would have shown us more. But I still had a great journey because I was speaking to a guy from Asturias, this gentleman here. And he was practicing his English on me and I was practicing my Spanish on him. So that was good to give that a wee run. Ah, you know when you're in the Netherlands, eh? Now I've got no idea where we are going. I've got a feeling we need to go that way, but I should never really trust my judgment. My sense of direction is terrible. Wow, look at the station, look at the stained glass. Can you see that? You see, travel in Europe is like a religion. Welcome. That is some station, isn't it? And don't worry, we'll come back and have a proper look because when we leave this city, we'll be leaving by train. And of course, we're also not gonna leave without having a proper look around town, but that's not gonna happen today, oh no. I'm far too tired. I'm gonna go and find my hotel. We'll get checked in, have a look at that. And then I think we're just gonna have a relaxed evening. What an absolutely stunning place though. I didn't know what to expect, but it's beautiful. I'm not actually sure we've got the weather on side the next couple of days, but I'll do my best. And there's the river, the River Mass. Oh, I need something to drink, don't I? My voice is going again. This is very weird, the comparison with back home, because when I look at the UK and its towns and cities, I find that they're really struggling at the moment. But over here, first impressions, it's absolutely buzzing. There's no shops that are empty. It's just a vibrant place. I can't wait to have a look around. And I'm very impatient to do so, but as you can probably tell, I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm still living off like an hour's sleep last night and maybe half an hour on the flight. It's really not enough, is it? Okay, I think this is us, Hotel du Casque. I hope they've got a reservation for me. I need my bed. Right, we are in, and I think we've got an upgrade, which is on the fourth floor. Being very energetic, you're taking the stairs. Here we go, 407. Oh, lovely. I tell you, even if it was just a cupboard with a bed at the moment, I think I'd accept it. But this looks fantastic. Let me just dump the bag and I'll give you a proper tour. Now before I show you this, let me just temper expectations a little bit. This was 60 quid a night, right in the city centre, and I'm quite impressed. Right, we'll start here, got a little open wardrobe and a safe, and then we come into the room. Okay, it's two single beds pushed together, but it does look like a really comfy mattress. Got the bathroom over here, nice shower, lots of towels, a uh, big TV, hair dryer, no fridge, that would have been nice because it is quite hot here. We've got an espresso maker, kettle, some very nice teas, and best of all, we've got a wee balcony, at least I think we can go out here. I've not checked it yet. What do we do? 
Oh, maybe not. How do we get out? Ah, okay. Yes, we're outside. Okay, the neighbours would be a bit close, but still, just to have any outdoor space at all, I really wasn't expecting that. So this, for two nights, for me, is luxury. And with that, folks, I think that's me. I'm going to rest for the night and try and be energised for the next couple of days because that's going to be full-on filming for two days. And then I'll be home by Thursday night. It's going to be a whirlwind tour, but I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.